From Zero to Superhuman, The Mastery Blueprint, Volume 2, Part 5, Raising the Chrism, The Ancient Key to Divine Ascension and Spiritual Power Unveiled. Welcome back to Positive Vortex, and welcome to Volume 2, Part 5 of our transformative series, From Zero to Superhuman, The Mastery Blueprint. In this installment, we dive deep into an ancient and sacred process that has been shrouded in mysticism for centuries. Raising the Chrism, the ancient key to divine ascension and spiritual power unveiled. Before we embark on this enlightening journey, I strongly urge you to watch the previous videos in this series. Each part builds upon the last, setting a strong foundation for the profound truths we're going to explore today. If you haven't yet seen them, please click on the link in the description below to start from volume one and get the complete understanding of the mastery path we've laid out. Every video in this series brings you closer to unlocking your full potential, revealing the secrets of the universe, and empowering you with the tools to ascend spiritually. Now, if you've been following along, you already know that Volume 2 of The Mastery Blueprint is focused on transcending physical limitations and elevating your consciousness to new heights. We've delved into higher planes of existence, balanced your internal energy centers, and explored the esoteric systems that shape our being. But today, we take a major leap forward into a practice that is nothing short of revolutionary. In this video, we'll uncover the mysterious process of raising the chrism, a journey that holds the potential to unlock your divine nature and allow you to experience the ascension of the spirit. This isn't just an exercise in meditation or philosophy, this is about working with the very essence of your life force energy, tapping into sacred alchemy to harness the power of the universe and ultimately connecting with the cosmic Christ consciousness. But this knowledge cannot be rushed. To fully grasp the significance of raising the chrism, you must first understand the intricate interplay between your physical body, spiritual energy, and the alignment of celestial forces. The previous videos have laid this groundwork explaining how the chakras act as gateways for energy and how your thoughts and emotions influence your vibrational state. These teachings are vital for today's exploration, where we journey even deeper into the spiritual anatomy and cosmic wisdom passed down through ancient traditions. Imagine the energy within you as a sacred oil, referred to as the Christos or chrism, which travels through your body in sync with celestial cycles. This sacred oil is created within the pineal and pituitary glands, known in esoteric teachings as the spiritual bridge to higher consciousness. As this oil descends and ascends through your body's energetic channels, moving through the Ida and Pingala Nadis, it ignites profound spiritual changes, activating the dormant divine potential within you. This journey mirrors the ascension of the sacred serpent energy or Kundalini, and its completion can lead to enlightenment, divine knowledge, and even mystical experiences beyond the material plane. To truly unlock the power of the chrism, we'll need to approach it from all angles, through diet, spiritual discipline, and energetic practices that will support the movement of this sacred energy. We'll talk about the importance of cultivating an alkaline state within the body, preserving your vital energy, and how ancient wisdom teaches us to protect and nourish this divine oil. I'll also walk you through powerful meditative techniques designed to help you feel the subtle movements of this energy within, raise it to higher energy centers, and ultimately awaken your pineal gland, often referred to as the seat of the soul. If you've ever wondered how the spiritual ascension of the ancients works, how the masters of old achieved higher states of consciousness and transcended physical limitations, this video will answer those questions. Raising the chrism is the key, and mastering this practice will help you align with the Christ consciousness, awakening your inner divine self and granting you access to higher realms of wisdom, intuition, and power. So, if you're ready to unlock the secrets of divine ascension and spiritual mastery, stay tuned. But remember, this video builds on the essential lessons from previous parts of the Mastery Blueprint. If you haven't already, Make sure you catch up on all the previous content by checking the link to Volume 1 in the description. Prepare yourself, for we are about to unlock the ancient keys to the universe 
and the doorway to your ultimate transformation. Let's dive in. What is chrism? A deeper understanding. Let's begin with the fundamental question. What is chrism? In esoteric traditions, the term Christos, meaning anointed in Greek, refers to a divine sacred oil secreted within the human brain. This oil, produced by the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, is thought to contain immense potential, serving as the key to unlocking higher consciousness, spiritual vision, and extraordinary abilities. It's often referred to as the Christ oil because it represents the anointing process, symbolically linked to Jesus Christ in Christian mysticism. However, this concept of sacred oil is far older than Christianity and can be traced back to ancient Egyptian, Hindu, and Gnostic teachings. The pineal gland, often called the third eye, is a small, pinecone-shaped gland in the center of your brain that governs your circadian rhythm and produces melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep. But mystics and esoteric practitioners have long known that the pineal gland is much more than a biological timekeeper. It is the seat of intuition, higher consciousness, and spiritual insight. When activated, it allows one to perceive beyond the limitations of the physical world, tapping into deeper layers of reality, psychic abilities, and direct communication with the divine. The pituitary gland, located just below the pineal, works in harmony with it. While the pineal is often linked to divine insight or receiving information from higher dimensions, the pituitary is thought to be responsible for manifesting these insights into physical form. Together, these glands regulate the production of chrism, an oil that, when properly harnessed, travels down the spine and back up to the brain, activating spiritual awakening. The sacred dance, Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna, energy channels of the body. To truly understand the journey of chrism, we must first delve into the body's energy system. The ancient yogic texts describe three primary channels through which prana, life force, flows, Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna. Ida Nadi, associated with the moon and the feminine, Ida governs the left side of the body and the right side of the brain. It is cooling, introspective, and linked to the parasympathetic nervous system. In the context of chrism, Ida is connected to the pituitary gland and represents intuitive, nurturing energy. Pingala Nadi, associated with the sun and the masculine, Pingala governs the right side of the body and the left side of the brain. It is heating, active, and linked to the sympathetic nervous system. Pingala is connected to the pineal gland and represents focused, dynamic energy. Sushumna Nadi. This is the central channel that runs along the spinal column, connecting all the chakras from the base of the spine, the root chakra, to the crown of the head, the crown chakra. It is through this channel that the Kundalini, the dormant spiritual energy at the base of the spine, rises when activated. In the case of raising the chrism, Sushumna is the path that the sacred oil takes during its upward journey. These three channels form the energetic blueprint of the body, allowing spiritual energy or chrism to circulate and ascend when certain conditions are met. The ascent of chrism is directly related to the alignment and purification of these channels, which brings us to the essential step of protecting the oil. The importance of purity, protecting the sacred oil. Before attempting to raise the chrism, you must first prepare the body to protect and preserve this sacred oil. The oil is delicate and easily destroyed by certain internal and external factors. Among the greatest enemies of chrism are toxins and an acidic environment. The first step to protecting the oil is to cleanse the body and create an alkaline environment. This requires a fundamental shift in both diet and lifestyle. 1. Dietary purification. To maintain an alkaline body, avoid foods and substances that create acidity, such as alcohol, processed foods, refined sugars, caffeine, and meats. Instead, focus on an alkaline diet rich in whole natural foods. Green vegetables like spinach, kale, and broccoli, along with fruits such as lemons, avocados, and bananas, are all highly alkaline and promote the purification needed for the chrism to rise. 2. Fasting and detoxification. Practicing intermittent fasting or undergoing a periodic detox, such as a juice cleanse or water fast, can dramatically increase the body's alkalinity and purify the bloodstream. 
Ancient initiates often fasted before engaging in sacred rites to ensure that their bodies were free from impurities that could interfere with their spiritual work. 3. Eliminate toxins. Reducing exposure to environmental toxins, such as chemicals in household products, artificial additives, and pollution, is equally important. Incorporate natural, chemical-free products into your daily routine, drink purified water, and be mindful of your environment. The preservation of sexual energy. Transmuting your creative force. A key component of raising the chrism is the preservation of sexual energy. This may seem surprising to some, but many ancient spiritual traditions, including Tantra, Taoism, and alchemy, emphasize the incredible power of sexual transmutation, the process of redirecting sexual energy towards spiritual goals rather than physical release. Your sexual fluids contain your life force energy, the same energy that has the potential to create life. When this energy is harnessed and redirected inward, it serves as a powerful catalyst for spiritual growth. This doesn't mean suppressing sexuality, but rather mastering it through practices such as celibacy, moderation, and mindful sexuality, where energy is circulated within the body rather than released externally. Tongue position, completing the energy circuit. Another critical and often overlooked aspect of raising the chrism is the position of the tongue. In esoteric teachings, the tongue acts as a switch or conductor for energy flow within the body. To complete the energy circuit during meditation or spiritual practice, keep your tongue pressed against the roof of your mouth. This action activates the microcosmic orbit, a Taoist term for the circular flow of energy from the base of the spine up to the head and back down. This simple technique is highly effective in stimulating the rise of chrism and facilitating the smooth movement of energy throughout the body. The process of raising the chrism Step-by-step -step guide, once the body is prepared and the conditions are optimal, you can begin the actual practice of raising the chrism. Here is a detailed, step-by-step -step guide to help you engage in this transformative process. 1. Enter the present moment. Begin by sitting comfortably in a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes, relax your body, and focus on your breath. Anchor yourself in the present moment by repeating an affirmation like, I am here now. Nothing else matters. This helps to center your mind and eliminate distractions. Deep breathing. Breathe slowly and deeply through your nose, filling your lungs from the bottom up. Visualize each inhalation as blue energy, symbolizing the chrism rising from the base of your spine, the sacrum, all the way up your spine to the center of your brain. Hold this energy at the top of your breath for a few moments. 3. Visualization. As you breathe in, imagine the blue energy climbing your spine, traveling through the Sushumna Nadi, the central energy channel. When your lungs are full, visualize the blue energy reaching the center of your brain, specifically the pineal gland. Hold the energy there for two to three seconds and then exhale slowly through your mouth, releasing tension and stress. Four, focus on the crown chakra. Once the chrism has reached the pineal gland, Bring your awareness to the crown chakra, the highest energy center located just above your head. Visualize a radiant white light emanating from this point and feel yourself connecting to the divine or the infinite field of consciousness. 5. Intention Setting Set a clear intention for what you wish to achieve through this practice, whether it's heightened intuition, spiritual insight, or even divine connection. Affirm to yourself, I am raising the sacred chrism. I am awakening to my divine nature. 6. Repeat and refine. Continue this process for at least 15 to 20 minutes a day. The more consistent you are, the more effectively the chrism will rise and transform your consciousness. With practice, you will begin to feel a pulsing energy at the base of your spine and in your forehead. This is a sign that the chrism is being raised successfully. The Scientific Correlation Unlocking Your Pineal Gland and Brain Chemistry Science is slowly catching up with ancient spiritual wisdom. The pineal gland has long been the subject of research in neurobiology, particularly in its role in producing DMT, dimethyltryptamine, a powerful compound known to induce profound mystical experiences and altered states of consciousness. Research shows that during meditation, the brainwave patterns slow down from the beta, 
waking state to the alpha and theta states, which are associated with deep relaxation, creativity, and intuition. It's within these slower brainwave states that the chrism can be most effectively raised. Additionally, the practice of mindfulness and meditation has been proven to increase neuroplasticity, enhance brain function, and release beneficial chemicals like serotonin and oxytocin, which promote feelings of well-being and connection. The significance of the moon cycles in raising the chrism. The moon cycles play a significant role in the process of raising the chrism. According to ancient teachings, the chrism reaches its peak potency during the full moon. This is why many mystical traditions, including the Essene Brotherhood and various branches of Gnosticism, practiced fasting and meditation during this time to harness the enhanced power of the sacred oil. The oil is believed to descend from the hypothalamus into the spinal column each month, just before the full moon. By fasting, meditating, and engaging in spiritual practices during this time, the oil is protected and raised back up the spine to the brain, where it illuminates the mind and activates higher states of consciousness. The ultimate reward, spiritual enlightenment and physical transformation. When the chrism is fully raised and the kundalini energy is activated, it brings about profound spiritual transformation. The practitioner may experience heightened intuition. As the pineal gland is activated, psychic abilities like clairvoyance and telepathy often become more pronounced. Spiritual vision. With the chrism raised, you may experience visions, divine insights, and connections with higher planes of existence. Inner peace and bliss. As the brain floods with feel-good chemicals, deep feelings of contentment, love, and unity arise, creating a permanent shift in your state of being. Physical regeneration. Some texts suggest that raising the chrism even has the potential to regenerate cells and slow down the aging process as the body operates in a more balanced, harmonious state. The path to divine ascension. Raising the chrism is a sacred journey that requires dedication, discipline, and a willingness to purify the mind, body, and soul. However, the rewards are beyond comprehension, granting access to divine wisdom, spiritual insight, and a connection to the higher self. Through this practice, we unlock the mysteries of life in the universe, stepping into the true, Christed consciousness that is our birthright. As we journey together on this path, remember, the kingdom of heaven is within you, and raising the chrism is the key to accessing it. Thank you so much for joining me on this profound journey of self-discovery and spiritual ascension in part 5 of volume 2 of From Zero to Superhuman, The Mastery Blueprint. We've just explored the ancient mystical process of raising the chrism, a sacred journey that can unlock immense spiritual power and take you one step closer to realizing your full divine potential. As we wrap up this session, it's important to remember that the practice of raising the chrism is a lifelong journey, one that requires patience, dedication, and inner discipline. The insights and techniques we've covered today are just the beginning. If you commit to these practices, nurturing your spiritual energy, protecting the sacred oil, and aligning yourself with the divine forces within and around you, you will witness transformative changes in both your consciousness and your everyday life. But this is only one part of a much larger tapestry of esoteric wisdom. If today's video has sparked a deeper curiosity within you, if you feel a calling to explore the mysteries of ancient spiritual practices and uncover hidden truths, I strongly recommend you check out the Book of Wisdom. This powerful book will guide you through a treasure trove of esoteric knowledge, revealing insights that will help you expand your consciousness and delve into the mysteries of the universe. Click the link in the description below to purchase your copy and begin exploring the vast world of hidden knowledge. Additionally, for those who are ready to take the next step in their spiritual journey and dive even deeper into the mysteries of existence, Consider enrolling in the Ethereal University. This is your gateway to a true understanding of the spiritual and metaphysical aspects of reality, guided by experts in the field. Whether you're seeking to deepen your mastery or explore the higher realms of consciousness, this is the real deal. Click on the link below to learn more about this incredible opportunity and start your journey today.
And if you've been inspired by today's video and are looking for practical tools to help you manifest your highest potential, I highly encourage you to check out the Project 369 series of workbooks. These workbooks have transformed countless lives by providing a structured, step-by-step -step approach to harnessing the power of manifestation. Whether you want to attract abundance, improve your health, or elevate your spiritual journey, Project 369 offers a life-changing pathway to success. You can find the link in the description below to purchase this transformative series. Before we conclude, I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to all of you who continue to support Positive Vortex. If you found value in this content and want to show your appreciation, go ahead and click on the thanks button below. Your support helps us continue to produce high-quality, insightful content for everyone on the path to spiritual mastery. And of course, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with others who are on their own journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. The more we spread this knowledge, the more we can raise the collective consciousness and inspire others to tap into their limitless potential. Finally, stay tuned for part six of volume two, where we'll take an even deeper dive into the mysteries of consciousness, spiritual energy, and divine power. You won't want to miss it. Once again, thank you for being part of this journey. Your commitment to growth and mastery is what drives this channel, and I'm honored to walk this path with you. Stay tuned, stay focused, and remember, your journey to becoming superhuman has only just begun. See you in the next video.